Right. Hey there, folks. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to Campaign 12, uh, Episode 14, Episode 15, something like that. It uh, doesn't really matter. What is important is we are almost the end of the active campaigning season before Winter Quarters hits. Coming soon, a little over a month, and we haven't closed out the Tennessee campaign. And I, I'm sure that this is a jinx coming. I mean, Tennessee is very long east to west, but the big threat here is in the west. We had, at the end of the previous episode, kind of stationed our forces where they might do us some good, and uh, we're going to try to follow up first with a push against these forts. Brag. Yes, yes, you can move up as well. And uh, let's see, Garnett is going to move up here and join Polk. And then probably the Army of the Tennessee. Now let's see. Now I can fight this, you say. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do that. Let's see, we would have 14, 6 plus 1,200. That would put us... Almost 16,000 against whatever they got. All right, now we got the Army of Florida joining us. All right, so I'm going to... Do I get to fight this? I think I do. All right, I do. So we're going to fight this, try to win this quick, and then I think we take on the sieging of Fort Pillow, and maybe I can get Bragg out of there, rejoin the rest of the Army of Tennessee, and push those forces kind of out of the northwest of Tennessee. And then we will be very close to ending the Tennessee campaign successfully. All right, and what we are looking at is kind of a fairly simple generic. This generic map, we've seen this one a bunch of times. <laughs> Battle of Fort Pillow, Tennessee. Okay. Uh, I would like to, we're going to deploy... Over here, I'm going to drag Bragg along and put him here. How is everybody? All right, so they look a little cracked, but they're stable, stable, stable. Let's see what we get. No one else looks terribly cracked. All right, it is not quite the end of the day, but it's getting there. We're going to send out some scouts here and some scouts here. And then begin pushing up these divisions. Not doing it by army because I haven't detached withers because I'm not sure that withers morale. I'm not sure if they're going to take a morale penalty from being detached from price. And I'm, I'm a little concerned about that. So we'll just do it by division. Walton's division. Yeah, they kind of drew the uh, the junk card, and I think that this is going to... Eh, it doesn't slope that much down into the right. A little bit. All right, and we're going to station them there, or place them there. Yeah, all right, we have a significant advantage. So let's just find them, engage them, and get through this thing. Right, withers don't okay. So they thought we were coming this way. I can it looks like their morale is a bit cracked already. That's further than we need to be. Okay, give me Anderson's division up here. Walton, yours up here. And Jackson? Yeah, we're gonna bring yours. Over here, they're probably going to hate that, but whatever. All right, we'll move withers up. What is this? Hurlburt withdrawn. They're withdrawing already. Not sh too sure what that's about. Uh, I'll check on these brigades. Yeah, they look like they're in pretty good condition. Again, pretty good condition. Rains. No, no, no. And we're gonna we're gonna bring this skirmish scouts back. Walton can move up. You know what? We're just gonna 
No, nope, we're not going to do that. We're actually just going to keep them back there. All right. And this may not happen today. Uh, Lee can push up his cap here. What we can do is detach our artillery. Does it have good shots? Yeah. I mean, it should. You would think, right? Uh, detach that artillery. Yeah, bring that up a bit. Detach hills. Bring that right there. And Pemberton can come right there. And I guess Withers can move up here. We don't need these scouts. Walker scouts, so we're going to push them up. Check on these brigades while they're getting in their final position before they attack. Huh. They're well rested having moved through a fair amount of the woods. Jackson, we're going to push you guys up here. Walker can come down and around. Walton can move up. You can move up. Reigns can move up. Cawthorn can move up. Oh, I'm getting counterbatted. AI loves to counterbat. Just fine, but. All right, you guys need to move a little faster since you are behind. Okay, that artillery is moving. That's good. I'd rather have their artillery moving than shooting. Uh, Reigns will order them out with skirmishers and push them up. Same thing with Anderson. Push them up. Walker start moving here and Cawthorn coming up here. Uh, if these guys are ready, we're going to send them in as well. They look good, rested, regular training. All that's good news. Skirmishers, and we're going to push them up to right here. Jackson, I'm actually just going to hold you as a reserve division here. And then bring Walker over here. So. The Cavs should end up supporting most of the infantry divisions, or at least the brigades in the divisions that are nearest the flanks. But you can see it's 1900, so we're talking about 7 p.m. here in late September in Tennessee, but still. Still. Alright, so Cawthorn depleted Missouri State Guard Cav is engaging that that battery was giving us some trouble. We are moving at 2x, which I guess that's alright if we're gonna move. Skirmishers are engaging what are their skirmishers? Oh, that's, okay, that's their battery, who's now running. All right, gotcha. Yes, yes, we'll see how. Yeah, I mean, they should, skirmishers, you can see that I've also really nerfed their ammo. I think I give them 15 rounds or something like that. But if you leave it to the AI, they can basically kick out skirmishers once, and then it takes a long time and high morale to do again. So it's harder, if you don't manually do it and you just order them to kind of, right, the divisional orders you just saw, they'll do it when they can, but it, it, it's not going to be that frequent. All right. Walker needs to get up. Get moving on them. These guys, are they going in for a melee or are they routing? They're routing. All right, that's... 
That makes me feel better. Alright, since we've reached their lines and we seem engaged, I don't know that we're going to need skirmishers too much longer, but before we push everybody in Walton's division up, let's wait for the other ones to show up. We have a numerical advantage. We shouldn't spoil it by rushing in piecemeal and getting shot up against an enemy who's kind of just, just able to stand there. Alright, are we now... Have we now... Yeah. Alright. Alright. We're going to order Jackson to just stop. Uh, Bragg, you can move up. Reigns is battery. I don't know what you guys are doing there. But we'll move you guys up. I mean, they're shooting where I told them to shoot, so they're not doing anything wrong. But we're largely going to push, right, with this... Well... <laughs> With this cab over here, this is just to, to go for easy pickings, right? We got skirmishers and cab skirmishing against their artillery. I'm sure their artillery hates that. This division here is just holding in case they try to pivot, and we're sending these two divisions in against these isolated and beat-up brigades and just kind of skirmishing those down. And once we're ready... We can push up these attacking divisions. They don't have that much further to go, but... These guys look cool. They they look like... <laughs> they kind of look like they're, they're taking cover on the cannons. And, uh... Shooting. I believe that's a route, because they, they don't have their bayonets. They're not doing the, the bayonets down motion. Oh, no... I didn't see that was coming. I should have, but I didn't. Alright. Thankfully, that was a pretty quick one. Pretty much skirmishers did that for us. And, uh, yeah, alright, I'll bring you back. Uh, well, we got a little bit of... Yeah, not, not more than a little bit of action. Alright. And there it is, uh, about an 8, 9 to 1. Good win. Alright. That's largely stuff we already know. But we haven't, I don't think we actually took the fort. No, we haven't. So let's have the Western Army and Price move up. Let's have... Bragg try to join the rest of the Army of Tennessee, of which he is a part. Move Whitting up. Move Polk. Move Garnett. Did any of that actually register? Not for Bragg, of course. He's special. Yes and yes. Okay. All right, it has. I mean, we are paused yet again. This is probably the third or fourth time I've done it this campaign. Oh, and Bragg is engaged. Well, then let's try to help him move quick. No. Oh, that's right. What is this? <laughs> what is this? This I was not expecting. Holy moly. A brigade. Two brigades. Five brigades. That's 10,000 men. That's 12,000 men with low morale. Uh, Missouri State Guard. Two hundred and seventy nine guns on their side. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a point at which we can win. Maybe, maybe if this army. Garnett shows up. 
Let's let's see what happens. Uh, I, I'm I'm not at all sure about this, but let's see what happens. So this is interesting. This is us in deployment. Yeah, Wilcox is the more. I think. Yeah, I know that name. It's. Okay, they didn't start out broken, which is really, that's all I needed to know. Let's take another look here. Maney. Oh, wait, that was Wilcox. Uh, nervous. All right, they didn't start out broken. I, I got to start out with both, both of those court. Now, let's see. Consolidated strength report. Yeah, this might be when we have our advantage, because they're going to get pretty much two more cores. And we're going to get one more. And we got 11 hours, looks like, before that happens. So uh, we have to attack. Yet again, we have to attack the other side of the map. I, If I were them, this is probably where they want to defend. It's also almost end of day, which also works well for them. Uh, but yeah. All right, I'm going to detach them and throw some scouts out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same over here. We're going to detach them. And we're going to try to get some scouts out. I'm going to push up. All right, we will put Haygood going this way. Maney going that way. And now I should be able to move everyone else, right? That's not really how I want them. Let's keep them closer to the, the two roads. And we'll order them up there. And to be as sneaky as possible, we're going to throw Whitting out in front. I don't think this is going to work. Man, they're far ahead. For being up pretty much three morale points. Oh, that was uh, odd. That is a very odd choice of theirs. Here, Wilcox, go up, go up here. Go up there and bring your weird scouts back. I don't know why they're going up there. Uh, Stevens. Stevens. I don't know if they know what's going on here. All right, we're going to push them up, move up a little bit. Anyways, my, my thinking is, as far as it can be called thinking, is to have Garnett move up and around and basically get the victory point from behind. Actually, actually, I have an idea. Usually this is how my disasters start, is it starts with that phrase. I'm going to order them to try to take the reinforcement points that are here and force them to come in from further away. I can get that one. I can get that one. I don't, I don't believe I'm going to get that one, and I really don't believe I'm going to get it before nightfall. I don't know. And yeah, I'm completely ignoring the victory points. And there's also an argument to be made to just go right in and uh, smash them up as they are. Actually, why am I not? Why am I not doing that? Just go straight in. Well, our army looks like it's moving too slowly to probably do that. So let's give ourselves the option here. Yeah, you can zoom right on through there. Okay. So now we... Hulk, you need to be... Like that, Garnet. 
you can be like actually you can be like this. And we'll just push in behind Polk. Come on, get those points. Oh no. No. Oh, price arrives and wood arrives. Where does wood arrive, though? I like how we just know that. Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to complain too much about that. Here, we're going to deploy right there. Uh, we're going to let them capture that. That's fine. Price is over here, huh? Um, what does the battlefield look like here? You know what? We'll we'll try to follow them up, and uh, we get our free reset overnight, which is very nice. Where is Whitting? It's right here. Is this? What is going on, man? Also, that cav was detached. I don't know how they uh, how they just teleported through there, but they shouldn't have. Where did they go? Did they just teleport off the map? Because I, I think they did. I think they're just gone. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, that happened. Sometimes units just evaporate. All right, we're going to, while we have some time, though, we're going to take, nope, that's not, hopefully I didn't detach those guys. I did. All right, these are the guys we want to detach. What's the field look like? That's, that's fine. Put them there. Put them there. Put them there. Get these guys out of the trees a little bit, hopefully. All right. It's times like those, I miss those total war controls where you just drag them and just keep them together. Um, my goodness, I didn't. You've been reattached. You're fine. What are you doing? Donaldson, you have been reattached, I promise you. No, he doesn't believe it. It's okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Is that cab going to show up anywhere? I really could use that brigade. All right, well, it's not going to show up. That's It is what it is. Withers is demoralized. Where is he demoralized, though? Oh, down here. I thought. Uh, let's just play. I, I don't know what we're going to see when we get through here. Oh, there he is. All right, you do that. You do that. You all advance behind some skirmishers. Move up here. You're too Donaldson. Chilton, put some skirmishers out and move up. Daniel, I don't know what we're going to find, so you do the same. All right. That's that. We're going to look for trouble over there. And stable, you say? All right. I think we're going to try to move up here. Like this. It's 
probably going to take Stevens a while to capture that point, and they may have just redeployed back here. I mean, if they, if I were them, and I had been here, I would get out over here and then wait for the reinforcements to come up over that, that bridge. So we will see what we get. I don't know that any of this, these scouts I'm about to throw out are actually going to make a difference. You can hope. Donaldson. Ah, they did exactly what I would have done. <laughs> uh, okay. So knowing that, let's try to avoid some of that and go over here. Garnett, bring your forces over here. What can we do with artillery? Not much with all the fields there. All right, we took this, so maybe we go over here. They have left few good options for artillery. I don't want to think about it too much, but we'll move them up, and then if we find better positions as we move, we'll uh, we'll take theirs. And of course, oh, Donaldson actually knows to move. That's Pretty good. Where are we in terms of capping? We've almost decapped it from them. It still is really counting us down. I mean, we're at 30. They're at 32 morale. They have one objective point. I, I guess. Okay, so we got that. Now let's move up. Ah, they're going to move towards us. Smart. That's what they should do. All right. So, yeah, let's, let's move this way. No, no idea how this is going to go. I, I'm wondering, well, I'm wondering where that other force is. For sure. But I'm wondering if we can cut off the force that's coming in between our forces over here and the one that's over here. Admittedly, Price's force, I think, is, is pretty beat up. All right, Reigns, we got to keep pushing. Anderson, same thing. we got to keep pushing because we got to try to find... we got to hope these forces are still dispersed and that we can... Uh, Defeat them piecemeal. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No. Marching column your way up there. Otherwise you're going to show up wicked fatigued. Alright. We're still not seeing them. Which means they probably took that very long route. Too bad. As luck would have it, though, the artillery is kind of in a decent spot. The only thing that's bad about it is that I, I think it might be too far forward. And we don't have anybody that close yet. Cawthorn, Cawthorn, come on, give me some good news, Cawthorn. All right, we got a. Uh, well, we're going to keep moving up. Uh, same with Anderson. Yeah, they took it back. But maybe actually taking that was a bad idea. <laughs> we sh well, it depends on where their reinforcements are. Oh, okay, so now we know. Now we know. And now we set up... A... Ah. All right, we could set them up there, and Anderson, maybe we... Uh... We just hold you around here. I'm not sure where they're going. Oh, no. Donaldson, this is what happens. 
I don't know what, but... Alright, you gotta come back. You gotta come back. Witting. If you guys aren't doing it already, you guys gotta book it. Alright, we gotta rush some cab over here. So we're gonna lose Donaldson trying to extricate our artillery. Don't know that it's worth it. There, you guys can lay down. I don't know if you can run, but you should definitely try to. Alright, Colquitt's cab is here. Uh, let's bring them up here. Brains, try to move. You know what, Anderson? Just, just go there. Yeah, put our cab over here, recall our scouts. Ignore the objective for now, it's a three-pointer. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Everybody get ready your skirmishers, you don't need them for this. But you do need to move. All right. And we'll try to get Donaldson back. Okay. Cawthorn. I don't think I need your scouts. I don't know what that is. I don't. Put them there. Put them there. I don't know how you did it, Donaldson, but you did it. Jeez. Well, if we can't go right in... Maybe we have to do this, because we're going to have to get our fatigue back. I'm not too worried about the uh, the cohesion that usually comes back more quickly, but the fatigue stuff, not so much. All right, let's have our artillery fire here. Now nah, we'll just set you guys right. And Donaldson, I have tried everything to get you to go back. Oh, now you are. Well, it says you're back. I can bring your skirmishers back in as well. Yes, that is where you're supposed to go. Huh. All right, 
just stop where you are. It's hard to believe that troops that have seen this much combat are still this fatigued. Just marching column. I, yeah. At the start of a day, it's just hard to believe. Cawthorn can keep his options open. Kind of worried that the cab is. Yeah, they might be getting there. And for real, like these guys, yeah, for real, get back here. How bad are we? They're actually okay. In terms of fatigue, at least. Don't think yeah, they're idle. That's what we that's what we want. Alright. Uh slack is part of what? Because they need to step moving. Alright, Talifero, so Talifero, just hold for now. Where are we on this? Seems like the AI recapped this thing fast and maybe they just had more troops to do it. That's probably it. But... All right, Cawthorn is not in that bad a condition, but man, his scouts cannot figure out how to get back to him. All right, we're going to throw out some skirmishers. Maybe they're trying to make a play for this road. So, not the whole division, just you guys I want to detach. And then I want to push up to here, try to slow them down. Okay. No, 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 no. There you go. Face that away. Do your best. I think a bunch of their guns are still up there, so they won't do too much. But Donaldson, who was over here, cut off. I, he made good movement. He's in decent shape. All right, Cawthorn is coming over. And since we didn't see them come over here, they're probably coming through here. I don't, yeah, I don't think that they can cross unless it's on a pontoon or a fort. All right, so they're, they're fairly far back. Anderson. All right, I guess my, my expectation is that we're going to be able to beat them over here once we get in position, which is, a, it's going to take a while. Oh boy, I th I don't know. So we got to try to delay this as long as we can. Try to keep them from collecting extra victory points. By controlling the objective. It may also move if I cap it again. I don't know that it, I don't know if that helps me or not. Wonder if this well, I would think that the numbers are here. We should be able to beat those guys. As long as Palmer is isolated. Put them there. I don't know why Reigns' battery is trying to move like that. But they are. And have Anderson's guys come to here. Alright, 
the great never ending skirmish is on over here. That's fine. You may be eager, Garnet. I don't know about your troops. Right, let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get them up. Where's the rest of Garnet? Split up and come over here, all right. <laughs> Push them up. Push some skirmishers out. Um, so maybe we just change the screen. I think we're going to do the same with Anderson. Right, the job here is to delay. All right. They want to bring Cab, that's fine. Bring some Cab as well. Uh, Stevens, I'm actually going to have you move over here. Actually, we're going to have you move over here and try to get at their arty. Maybe he's rethinking that. Huh. We'll all kind of rethink it. Wonder if they know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Wonder if they know that I'm trying to make it through here and shoot that gap. I doubt it. But whatever. If we can drag two brigades back there, that's fine. No, for real, dude. Yeah, you need to move back. And quickly. Nope. Nope. You need to move back. Donaldson, do you have more skirmishers? Maybe. I know that Cav hate getting shot by artillery. Most people do. Gonna give them a general attack order up to here. I think you just gotta go. Hulk and company, yeah, you just gotta move up with whatever you got. 
Garnet, it's going to be the same story. Holy moly, that cab is flying. Dismounted. No, don't do that. Sometimes their units just absolutely take off. I'm, I'm amazed. All right. Well, I thought that this one was going to be hard, and I might be more correct than I know. Donaldson looks like he might route. All right, you gotta know when it doesn't feel right. It don't feel right. It don't feel right, so. Pull back here, pull back there. Back there, pull back there. How bad are we going to be on casualties here? Eh. Is what it is. This is not really the battle I was looking for ever. I'm still very impressed how they've been able to move through the woods like that. Woods that fatigue my guys immediately seem to have no barrier to them just continually to press through them. I have to remember that. I guess uh, when we're in retreat, we... Uh... Holy crap, we took a lot of casualties. I guess uh, next time we get them on the run, we're going to have to chase them down during the retreat phase. Okay, what do we know? We took about 50 more killed and 1,500 and 500 soldiers to prison camps. Okay. All right. So that's this. Now, hopefully... We look extremely, extremely likely to win. So let's do that. Um, yeah. Played a little bit faster. I don't... Okay. I don't know where they're engaged. All right, so we got we got that. We know about that. Huh. So then what is this? All right, so <laughs> they're going to retreat forward. Okay. Sure. Okay, we're going to re retreat somewhere as well. We're going to bring you back. Bring the New Orleans squadron up with me. Yeah, Price is going to retreat forward. Uh, Greg, we might need you. Are you done? You are done. You're confident, huh? Eh. You don't look that confident. 
same here. All right, we're gonna try to try to avoid combat here for a moment. Get some of our readiness back. Then we're gonna take everybody out of scouting and uh, push. Oh no, you're moving into. You're gonna retreat into combat. What are you doing, man? Get back here. Army of Tennessee, no, you get back here too. You're not retreating. Cully, you're fine. Brag, you're almost fine. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna get that ready to roll. Let's see if there's anything I can do. Civ order, maybe. But I think, I think propaganda is the policy. And the reason is, as I am work, I, I already took war bonds because the AI took it because I didn't make them right. Public wealth already dropped by 20%. So, right. I mean, you got to read the scale. It looks like it's a lot, but they're at, what is that, 0.3? And we're at, I don't know, 0. 0.43 or something like that. So this was War Bonds. And then we got, I think this was their Print Notes 1, Print Notes 2, and this was their War Bonds. So actually they did this nine months ago. So th they also got $50 million every 12 months here and another $50 million every 12 months here. So they're going to enjoy it longer, but it did hit their national morale. Ours is going to drop similarly, but I think ours might have been a little bit higher to start. So... We'll see how that goes. Where are you going? Okay. Confident. Low food. Well, that's not going to go away soon. So if everyone is back and kind of ready to... What is this? All right. Why Why are you continuing to bounce back here? I don't, I don't know what you're doing. All right, everybody's coming out of scouting. I have no idea where some of these armies are going. All right, everybody's out of scouting, I think. And it's time to go in. And uh, who was just unengaged? McCullough? All right, you go in. Price, you were pretty bad shape, but I don't think Bragg was in that last fight either. Army of Tennessee should move up. Because we're going to run into supply problems pretty, pretty soon. Alright, we'll see what they're able to do. Farm mechanization we're still waiting on. Trade deals we're not going to have for a while. Trade warfare I'm not worried about because we kind of broke. Let's hold on. Let's also save it. Alright, I did save it for real. Alrighty. This looks better for us. Yeah. So... The episode will... <laughs> Yet another one I would have liked to have ended early. At 55 minutes here, but I'm still going to go in. And it'll probably end up being a uh, another 90 minute episode. I was really trying to avoid those. So, what we are looking at, this map again, not a bad thing, it's just this map again, uh, I'll get set up and uh, then bring it back. And as it turned out, it did not take me that long to uh, get set up. My plan is to rush, I, think I have three cav brigades on the field, rush my cav up, try to take the point, uh, I forgot to detach all of them. So we'll do that now, and then just push everything else across 
that we can. So we're going to get McCullough, who's still its own independent army. Garnet is usually pretty reliable. So I'm going to send him up second. And trying to learn my lesson from past crossings, I I'm just going to send Garnet up. We can get the others kind of in position. Maybe not. Right, Jackson, you know, he's leading a division, so then... Oh, it was Bragg. Whatever. I mean, Bragg's forces are kind of ready to go. All right. And then this would be right, Bishop Polk. I guess Haygood's division isn't coming. Not too sure what that's about. And I... All right, so they're probably up here, coming coming in very close. Was that Haygood? Oh, Price. Okay. All right, we're going to push them up past the point. Uh, who the heck did I say this? This was McCullough. All right, we're going to get him slamming up here. Garnett is going to take this side. Price be down here. Alright. Push you up further with some scouts. Same thing. Let's find out what's going on here. All right, that answers part of that. Okay, you're all moving. Price. We'll keep your guys by the road as best we can. I don't know, is there any way over here? Uh, it's only over that, that crossing. All right, Wilcox, maybe you move up here. All right, we don't need your scouts. As, as it turns out, we already have scouts from others who've kind of shown us what we need to know. Walker, there you go. Don't need your scouts. Macintosh, not too sure about. Bring him over here. I think McCullough actually probably needs to line up. Seeing how this attack is coming, we're going to line them up like that. Garnett, we're going to have you... Line up like that. And I think it was Polk who was next. And Polk maybe will have... Uh, we'll have him come up over here kind of in reserve on the right. That's going to be a mess moving through those those woods, I know, but... Uh, maybe it wasn't Polk. It wasn't. Stop what you're doing. It was Bragg. Clicked on the wrong person. We're going to have Bragg come up over here on the right. Not you. Not you. All right, you guys. Get down, get loose. Get down, get loose. Stop. Uh, get your scouts back, and Macintosh, you join them up there. And you do your delaying thing. That'll be the plan. Fall back to here, and you actually just get right there. We need to move you. We will. Hopefully nothing's coming up on this right side, but I have no idea. It's not really how I wanted you all. I wanted you like that. 
close to the roads. Hulk, you'll be next, so we're going to move you up here. Maybe I was right about you, Macintosh. Maybe you should sit on that fence. Okay, McCullough. We're generally going to go defensive. Garnett's going to be the same thing. I don't know what these commanders are doing, except begging to get shot. Odd thing to beg for. All right. Okay, they look all right. Bragg is going off to the right. That's fine. Polk can now move up. He's going to kind of sit as a reserve in the center. Price is actually kind of right. No, I wasn't trying to make a pun. Kind of a pun, yeah. What you guys doing here? What? There's 20,000 of them and 85,000 of us? That can't be right. In any event. Detach these. Uh, yeah, that's fine there. Detach that. That can continue moving, but we're still going to detach it. Winder can move up here. And if you can figure it out, yeah, you should have skirmishers. McBride figured it out, though. Good job, McBride. I'm going to push them up here just to provide some protection for the artillery. And uh, this is where I think we'll make, make our stand right about here. Chilton, Daniel, okay, so they already know, that's great. All right. So, now the infantry are pushing up. We don't want the Kev to get stuck in that. Because I'm less sure of what's over here, I'm going to send some of them over there. I thought they had skirmishers out. I guess not. So we're going to push them up there. We're going to push them up onto that fence. Try to get these guys out of the woods. Okay. They know what they should be doing, it appears. We'll see if that helps. I'm not sure that it will. What is this? Skirmishers making contact? I think so. You guys must have watched uh, the Mighty Ducks too, right? The Flying V. These guys, we can only begin to imagine what they wondered, what they watched to, to make them think that was a good idea. But it was something. 
Because that ain't natural. Alright, we can slide. I don't think we're going to have very good line of sight in any case. But we're going to slide some of the artillery here to the center. Just because I don't see any infantry over here. They seem to all have collapsed more over here. That's fine. I guess McBride picked up his skirmishers. I'm going to put them back out. Oh, Maney. What you doing, man? Yeah, you're not actually marching, just so you know that. I have no idea what you're doing. Well, we may just have to dismount them and uh, fight there. Because weird stuff happens in this game. But we are still set to defensive. At least the divisions that are up here. Even though we're not acting too defensively, it's a, it's a little bit of a forward proactive defense. Garnet is at destination, so that means this, this core over here. Yep, and we just came over here to say hi and do. Oh my goodness, guys. Yes, go there, charge there, that's fine. McCullough should be up with his men. Oh, brag. <laughs> oh, brag. Uh, let me guess. Yep. Oh, boy. How are you? You actually can continue. And just get up there and defend. They mostly look okay. So this is Polk, yes, marching in column, that's fine. Okay, and Walker, you can get over here. We'll ride around them and see if they have more coming. We see that there is more over here. All right, Maney finally figured it out. He's over there, that's fine. Uh, no, we're going to push you up. And I really wanted those guys on a fence, but alas. Ride really doesn't like my skirmisher idea. Too bad. Lead better. It's got to be skirmishers. Got to be. Jackson. Nope. There you go. Whitting, why don't you get up there? Price, why don't you get lined up? Okay. I would still like skirmishers. But if they want to come up, yeah, we'll let them. And we'll have walkers sit on their flank, dismount, and just hang out for the morale support. Macintosh, we're going to push here. Maney, we're going to push here just to see if there's anything we need to be worried about. I, th I don't know if Gardner has shots there, but we're going to move him to where he does have shots. Oh no, they're idle. Alright, move them over there. Daniel's division can move up. Chilton's is okay right where they are. And Walker can hang out. Alright, let's see what it looks like.
They seem to be thinking better of it. Too bad. Yikes, though. So their cohesion is broken and they're tired, disrupted, rested. But you, yeah. Yeah, I've been running Walker ragged. I know. I know. Okay, Macintosh doesn't see too much out there. So we're going to move him in for some infantry support and uh, maybe do something similar for, for Manny, but I think both of them are probably getting at... Uh, no, they're actually well rested. Brandon, Clark, and Forbes. They look like they're ready to move. All right, let's move them up uh, here. How are we looking? We're not ready to move. Not at all. Polk. I don't know if it's his units or what, but they, they just seem beat up. But then the guys, they're kind of showing up in a lot of these battles, so it makes sense. Alright. Daniel looks like he can advance. So we'll advance him. Scurry and McBride are okay as well. Uh, Ruggles? Okay, and Walker can sit. Put Walker's up to four stars? Yeah, I, I, I gotta change the XP, because they. I think I've called them in almost every battle recently. That's out here in Tennessee. And just the unit doesn't have experience, but they are frequently in combat, so they, they, should, they should have some. Alright, we're gonna push up behind the screen of Skirmishers, because I always chide the AI for not doing that. Allows me too many easy shots on the way in. On their way in. Okay. Eh. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. They appear to be thinking better of some of this stuff. Chilton. We can hang out here. Are we actually firing? They are. All right. As long as they actually are firing, that's fine. I think there's a fourth battery. I don't see it. Firing, firing, firing. There is. Those two just appeared to be together, but they're actually separate. Unstable. Alright. Move them over there. We'll let that cavalry get down and a little loose. Same thing with them. All right, I don't want us to outrun. All of our support here. I mean, we do have the infantry of two corps ready to go, so. It's definitely something. And one division from a third corps, but, well, they're not as ready to go, but I think maybe we'll move them up on, on the right. I'm gonna detach hill so that we can just move the infantry if they're ready to move tiring winded winded they'll be ready to move very soon all right let's watch some combat here that's what i'm here for
And if you haven't watched enough of these videos, thank goodness for you, but it doesn't take long for my patience to, to wear, and then I'm just like, well, forget this, let's just attack, and then usually something predictably terrible happens, and it's like, well, then I blame, you know, everything else other than myself. That is the way. Now, Ledbetter was the one with problems before. Better now. Okay. Their division is going to be given attack orders and move up there. McBride, attack orders and move up there. Daniel, we're switching over to the attack. And we will, sure, you can move up there if you want. And same, well, yeah, you could have done that too. I, I don't really care. All right, Macintosh, move up here. And uh, Maney, all dismounted, is going to move over there. Switching you to the attack. But we'll hold you there for now. All right, as long as that artillery has targets to fire, I'm going to let it do it. We have these two brigades pulling a Dan Sickles. Ironically, I th uh, maybe it was last battle that Dan Sickles was the overall Union commanding officer in the... Uh, well, you saw what they did to me. Maybe 2x speed. A little bit better. Certainly twice as fast. Man, those guys have some range. Taking pot shots at them. And hit some of them. Alright. Might, might get my lines all smushed. Probably. Okay. Walker doesn't need to move yet, since we're kind of waiting on the infantry to do all that. Walton can at least advance to here. Alright! I'll give him a movement order. And we'll just move them to there. And since Bragg, it's one of his divisions is out here already, let's move him up. And this looks like it's going to be a while for Polk to get across. Fine. Oh, there is a cab brigade out here. I did not see that. All right, and they're going to push up to try to stop us. That's great. And we're going to come in over there. Well, neither of those is what, that's more of what I'm looking for. And then have these guys just push up. Right on the flank of that division. And now they got three brigades sticking out that they have to either rescue or eventually lose. Let's get in it with the boys. It is at 2x speed, remember, so they're, they're moving a little bit faster than normal. This is us at normal speed, or 1x speed. Alright, if our skirmishers are going to be behind our lines, we'll just recall them.
Walton is there. Pushed them up a little bit further. Not quite in combat, but they're getting close. Alright. And McBride's division can... Hopefully figure out what that maneuver is. I have no idea what that is, but not my problem. And we'll move Winder in there. Apparently they're just going to go in, or they thought they were just going to go in for a melee. So they saw the pocket, and they didn't want to be part of it, and they're falling back, as they should. That's all good. There's Walker. Okay, Winder is there. Winder is there. McBride. It's going to be up there, and we're just going to try to slow push through here. Whose division is this? They look like they have... I think it's Daniel's. Yeah, they're taking about 10% casualties. Chiltern's, Chiltern's, by contrast, is taking far less. Walton, let's check on his brigades real quick. They seem good. Yeah, generally good. So, we'll try to send them through over there. Doesn't really matter to me if they get there or not, but. Alright, send them around. Maybe we'll have them move up this hill. Okay, hill is firing, so that's fine. Fine by me. McCullough's forces are up there, so we're going to move them up. Move. I don't know why Lee's not following them around, but we're going to try to get the Cav commanders back with their Cav. I think his is over here as well. Are these all... Nah, they're not exhausted. It's not that. It's something else, apparently. All right, Ruggles. What can you do? That's what I need you to do. Just get there and shoot. Alright, we've just about run, run away with it. So we might actually finish this episode within 90 minutes. Alright, and as promised... We're gonna run everyone in. Switch you over to assault stance. Assault. Assault. Go ahead and play. Go 
Try to chase them down. I was going to bet that they probably don't like that flanking fire. Alright, bring our cab up. Okay, we'll run them down. Let's see, Walton, now you should be on full on assault here. Push on through. Macintosh, go ahead and ride into Jackson. Maney, you go ahead and ride into whoever that is. Cochran, maybe? I don't know. Alright, and that'll do it. And that's the result. Uh, two to one. So maybe the last two battles, we came out maybe slightly ahead in casualties. But certainly not on the ratios we, we need if uh, it becomes a manpower push. Okay, what are we looking at? So it was almost 2 to 1 killed. But we sent almost 2,000 of them additionally to POW camps. So that's good for us. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Well, hold on. We're, I'm going to give it a moment. It, it's not going to be in this episode because this episode has gone long. But in future episodes when we load in, we'll, we'll give it a moment and see if it actually holds. Because um, you see, it, it just went away. So I think we might need more POW camps or at least to expand the ones we have while our credit rating is above A-. minus. It's probably not going to be there long. But... Yeah, we'll do that. Anyways, this episode has gone long. If you've made it this far, I hope you've enjoyed it. We're not quite able to declare victory yet. We still have to get Fort Hyman. We got a little under a month. If we want to do it in ideal conditions. I think the plan is to send Western Army Missouri State Guard to take care of their first corps, push everyone else up to here, and then over to Hyman. Siege it, take it, and uh, go to winter quarters. All right, folks, until next time.